Mitch. No. Mitch. Mitch and Matt. How you doing, you Mitch? You know, whatever. Those guys. It's an unfortunate first name considering oh. some of the politicians uh, in this country, but uh, so be yeah, it. You're retiring soon, right? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm on the way out already, Matt. No worry. <laughs> What a day for some carnage. What a day for some blood. What a day for a team to be absolutely eviscerated and knocked out of the play-ins. That is what I am here for, Matt. And it's quite a compelling tale. One of these teams, turn to you like you're actually here, is looking to rebuild yeah. their legacy. The other, of course, the Washington Justice, had better figure out how to cobble together something that resembles a legacy because they're running out of time here in this play-in bracket. I thought you were going to say the Justice are looking to reclaim their legacy, what? right? Legacy? Of, uh, you know, Decay playing, Decay playing Zarya and making a run through play in That's uh, not a legacy. They don't have Decay. That's not a legacy. What do you mean? That is the aching of your old bones on a cold day. That's not something you put on your mantelpiece. Ah. That's something you try and forget. Sometimes, you know, with hair of the dog. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah Get some yeah, DC brow when you exactly first thing you in the morning. Try and forget about those painful losses. I better hope today doesn't resemble that in any way, shape, or form. Washington are up against it, right? I think everyone is behind London because we undervalue specialists in the Overwatch League a lot until they find a metagame that suits them. And this one fits hardy like a glove. A big, burly, bustling, bullying German carrying a gigantic hammer glove. Well, it, it's, uh, I actually think kind of London, what they have been doing is actually kind of hilarious, right? It's like everybody knows what they're going to play. Uh, and they say, well, beat it, right? And not, not how many people have been able to uh, when they have this Reinhardt compo uh, composition is uh, Hadi, I think he'll just shout and then go back to the Rhine, but uh, it'll be curious how the Justice adjusts to this. So this was the map actually against the Boston Uprising that Spitfire dropped on that control map where I think Hardy actually tried to play the Junker Queen instead, but it will be Reinhardt and quickly the Symmetra teleporter will take them right on up to the high ground. Mirror there will try and hurl insults from the low ground, a javelin or two here, but London definitely have pole position to start us off. Oh, and I mean, this is great, uh, great positioning, right, for Sparker, but they use the TP. We saw the stats last week, right? It was like 100 players, 110 players teleported in like two or three rounds of control. I mean, they use that so well to maneuver around the map, but uh, the Justice, they just rotate out. They use that speed boost to get away. Yeah, Washington do well to evade that first thrust, but there's another one. Backbone already looking to be a problem in the backside, and Flora wasn't ready for the damage from Backbone. They were caught completely unawares by this. And uh, this is going to be a recurring theme in this match. The Sim TPs into the backline by either one player or many. Washington need to have eyes in the back of their heads. Well, you never know what's coming, right? Uh, you know, sometimes they put down the TP and nobody goes through it. Sometimes there's just a few Symmetra, t uh, you know, turrets that go through. Sometimes it's the entire team with a Bastion. Uh, you know, in wheels mode, you just have no idea where uh, if the fight, fight is in front of you, it's not like you can just turn around and focus on that teleporter. You have to kind of just wait and react for that to happen. And by that time, there's so much damage, it's too late. Flora is looking to fire off a mortar strike here. Admiral, though, has the wheels to avoid that. Hardy playing back now around the Pagola. It is London in presence right now, but with his mate just could be a problem very quickly. The Spitfire look to reposition now around that immortality field, which eventually gets left ahead of them. It's an easy pickup for Mira, but London's still accruing this capture progress now. It is Donghun and Alfie working together as Jake foreshadowed on the desk. How successful can Alfie be with his blade? We're about to find out. In he goes. A false start. Instead to the high ground, here is a sound barrier has come out and he'll look to work through some of those. Landon, one more slash would have done it, but now there's an immortality field in play. How do you get the kill here now with a sim barrier in your face? Landon looks like he's going to be able to stand up on his own. A flora inexplicably falls there to his own damage midway through the fight. Alfie is still looking for that kill. <laughs> I mean, Alfie goes up, uses the blade, but I mean, there is a sim wall of Bastion still alive, and then a sound barrier comes the out. Fight is still not over. Landon eventually is felled. It took a heck of a long time, though, and the Washington Justice will look to prevail here. But they've given about, I don't know, 55% of capture progress in that fight to London. And counting. Yeah, I mean, you still have Admiral here on the point. I mean, uh, he'll eventually fall, so uh, you're going to get up uh, close to 90% here for the Spitfire off that you know, really second fight. So pretty good percentage there for London, considering they have so much burst damage, right? And we talk about how you can maneuver and just be creative oh. with this. And another, another animation really like that, you just TP right past it. Yeah, completely superfluous air matrix. That was just sidestepped here by the Spitfire. Now both teams in an ultimate economy trough, so to speak, but Landon has his window up. 
It's a matter of setting yourself up most effectively to make use of it. The high ground seems as good a place as any. Leonard opts to drop down, though, as London are always on the move. Very, very hard to keep a tab on this team as they roll in this ball of death. Alfie gets caught in midair, though. That's a headshot for Landon. The Amp Matrix assisting with the easy kill on the Genji. And now the Justice are foundering. I mean, even if that's the only kill you get with that Amp Matrix, it's worth it, right? You just need to get that early pick off, and then that allows the rest of the team to move on forward. And getting rid of Alfie he is huge. I mean, he is the one putting a lot of that pressure on Sparker. You have, you have a shatter here. 91 accounting. Party hoping to yeah, get close enough to maybe get value from it here, but he's easing. That fuser lane from Flora. Still, wheels mode exhausted. Here comes the shatter in. It was going to be Mirror Court before he could reach Hardy. No chance of touching the point, though, and the obligatory Charles the Ninth invocation in this first round. Well, they started to like walk in towards Hadi and then obviously realize that he has a, a Shut shatter. <laughs> uh, and they go the other way. They're like, oh, well, we'll avoid it. But there is Sparker with wheels mode, right? The Symmetra turrets are there as well. And then he just has uh, the artillery strike. So he just starts calling it down. And then uh, they all get shattered there. Uh, you know, in a row, so no opportunity to get back to the point. Yeah, something about a Reinhardt screeching at you to challenge him directly might indicate that he's holding onto a shatter or something similar. Still, the Justice were a long way away. Hardy pushed ahead, uh, exhausting the, the wheels mode out of Flora early, so there was not many opportunities for the Justice to get back in, Matt. A good start for London and everything going about as we expected with this Symmetra hijinks. Yes, uh, we'll see now uh, how London use the sim here on this point. This is the one we've seen them do like really interesting stuff on. Uh, be able to get into your back line rather quickly is uh, there's a deflect from Alfie. They know that this Lucio is kind of like lurking around here, right? So they all just don't want to run out and get, you know, booped out by Donghun. Yeah, spotted pretty easily as Donghun playing from up on high. No incentive really for the Spitfire to push in the old fashioned way. It's going to be a TP instead of their access. Teru instantly will go to Hardy now, who sees Mira come towards him with a javelin and spin, but Teru got absolutely flattened. How well, did the Justice you do prepare for that? There. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, well, they, they may actually end up winning this fight. I mean, the Justice get control of the point, but oh, I mean, now they go kind of into the blunder that Sparker here, right? Uh, they use that TP. And it looks like it's Sparker and Backbone who go for Teru. And then Hadi goes through it and turns the shield and blocks all of the damage coming from the Orisa on the backside. So, like, can't even uh, turn and try and get some of those DPS low and help out Teru. Yeah, and Mira just looks like a rabid Bronco being broken by, like, four players of the Spitfire standing around him, eventually able to cut through that large health pool of a solo Orisa. What option do you have? Sparker getting close to a ultimate here but crucially it's going to be a wall for back line up that's huge to split the point here landon goes for an early immortality kill hoping it would affect harding on the low ground it does for a time but not for long enough it's teru bringing down the frontliner of the london spitfire here and air matrix comes out but landon has limited opportunity to use it here and the justice are slowing things down they're about to push back in yeah, it looks like that London want to kind of like extend this maybe for longer. Maybe you think you can get Hottie back into the fight. That's so all they step off for a quick second. They give it up as soon as Hottie gets back. That's like worst case scenario. Mira really playing to telegraph a terror surge. He doesn't have one available right now, but he's trying to stagger the remainder of the Spitfire. So the Justice get themselves an extra 10 to 15% here, pushing out at London. Yeah, as uh, everybody in London there just tries to die, you know, maybe get some old charge hot. He just charges in, starts swinging. So uh, next fight kicks off. You're going to be about uh, even in terms of percentage here. We'll see how London decides to play this with a sound bear. Teru, ooh, knocked off the high ground. And so boot back up. Yeah, a lot of poke. It's taken him a little while to get that healing and he's poked back down yet again. Flora maybe trying to buy a little bit of space with this Bastion ultimate. And it does so. It gives enough time for the Justice to make sure their ducks are in a row here. Keep Flora and Alpha, you crucially topped up the ladder with a Dragon Blade. He'll hook to leverage here, but already Flora finds purchase with the grenade. Alpha, you playing safe here from a distance, allowing Mira to soak up most of his damage. The Nair Matrix in the way, but the Terror Surge claims Landon. It'll be a trade, and eventually Alpha, you decides to get involved, but doesn't need to draw the blade. I, but still, do you feel like that's a little bit of a win there for London, right? You use an Ant Matrix, and what do you get out on the other side? You get the artillery, the Terror Surge, 
the ant matrix in the sound barrier out from the justice just oh. for your own ant matrix so it feels like a little bit of a win there for the spitfire well, you have to exploit that fight. in this fight you have to exploit it in this fight you don't have other opportunities it's not like a play for a long game it's okay now we have to win this next fight with that incremental advantage in economy we've managed to accrue let's see if it plays out that way AC 130, Shannon coming in here, Hardik now, Miro's a little low now, gonna be under the immortality field, that'll be removed quickly by Hardy. he beelines for that drone, Alpha Yee's blade, the sound barrier's gone now, this should be his opportunity, but he's so low, who do the Justice have to work with here, they'll have to take a beat, back away, Flora, he missed the gangway, man overboard. <laughs> He, he was extremely low uh, as uh, he was just taking tons of damage. So you have the blade, right? Um, you, you, you would think the supports, right? But they have that immortality field should be pretty uh, you know, difficult to make a play for them. You assume that the Symmetra turret's going to be set up there as well. Uh, Backbone also has this wall, right? So if Alfie has to go deep, you can use this sim wall to kind of split him off from the rest of the team. And Matrix there too. There's no guarantee Alfie you can cross the gap. I like this positioning here of that Bastion Ultimate. There's nowhere really to go playing up on that high ground. Mortality field out. It's blade time. It has to be. Alpha he finds Backbone early on. His next target, Spark, is disintegrated in front of him before he managed to get to him. But eventually the blade, well, it pays off. That was an investment in patience that Alpha he made. And he gets his dividend here at the end of the round. Well, well that Bastion Ultimate is uh, pretty huge there, right? It does enough damage on the high ground to, you know, spread the London Spitfire out, but it also gets that immortality field out rather quickly. So not only do they not have a really good setup with the Symmetra uh, turrets and they have the Immortality Field, they don't have any of that stuff, right? And then the Blade is just you know, way easier to execute off of that. It was discussed on the desk. There has to be a way for any opponent to the London Spitfire to figure out how to play around this Reinhardt. So far, it's been a pretty quiet outing for Hardy. Just the one final blow in six deaths over the course of this Oasis map. A lot of success for Alfie so far, standing at seven and three here. And again, Backbone, a less auspicious outing at four and three, final blows to death respectively. Good looks for the Justice after that second round. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I see both teams just vying for that high ground control, but just able to get there so fast oh with my. the TP there from the London Spitfire. <laughs> well, down the gurgler goes Mirror very early on Admiral. Setting up in a pretty customary position. Mira not having the fortify when it was required, perhaps. And remember, tanks are steadfast, uh, you know, in the passive sense. They are harder to boop, but I guess Mira teetered too close to the edge. Yeah, and uh, maybe trying to save Whoa. some of those abilities because this is just a ton of damage coming the opposite way. A backbone, he just spams these chokes with those alternate fires from the sim. And I don't, I don't think it was this last patch. I think it was a patch before they get like a big buff. They do actually sizable amounts of damage. So playing in his chokes is so effective for a composition like London's. And a good little early lead here, essentially for free, right? Really no fighting occurred on the point. Alfie wants to weasel his way around on this left side, presumably, but Flora needs to be careful. Ooh, that grenade radius is immense. And very quickly, London will elect to reposition now to play the main choke on the point. Terry wants to get here with an air matrix now. The Spitfire might be forced inside that small room. That was an air grenade that came through the matrix, but it wasn't enough damage to find and it kills it. Spark has found Flora, picks him off with that mortar strike and Alfie is down. Yes, that's through an air matrix. One of the deadliest combos we have right now. Yeah, I mean, that is the, the nade through the air matrix is crazy as uh, they give up a little bit of percentage on the point, but it doesn't really matter in the end as the justice there, they're setting up around that air matrix on the point. The artillery strike destroys the uh, immortality field, and it also takes out Flora, which is huge. Flora just trying to make it hard for Hardy to push up here. A lot of damage taken by London, and now the mortar strike for Flora. Hardy, skipping on out of there. Doesn't want any of that smoke from Mira here. There's a sound barrier and a sim ult to play around here. So London is set up in a great position to play from behind the sim ult. Yeah, I think I think you use sim ult here and then you just kind of like wait that blade out with sound barrier, right? Uh, you don't really feel any need to invest that sound barrier early on. Alfie's really trying to play around the sound barrier for much of this round, Matt. Let's see if he can do it here. Land on the Admiral Bow, holding on to those support ults and Backbone quickly steps back behind his own wall there. Is he got the yeah, like, face full of damage? advantage that gives though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't really kind of like, you, you can just hold point and just oh, sit the there. So that's going to be. Damn, Adrian's for both teams.
Yeah, they both went for amp grenade. Oh, Mira gets caught there. He has to know he's playing out the side of the, in front of the air matrix, but he had to try and touch. Here comes the sound barrier in response to Alfie's blade. He couldn't afford to wait any longer, and predictably, it is utterly blunted. The London Spitfire figure it out. They put it together, and they'll snap up Oasis. Man, is uh, still this Reinhardt with the Bastion and the Sim just giving that extra bit of mobility makes it so difficult to stop. Is That's got to be frustrating to play against there for the Justice. And again, they had to know they would come into this, but it's a question of who can we scrim to allow us to simulate these conditions. There are teams playing with Symmetra and Bastion but not often at the same time. That is what London have been forcing over and over again. They don't want to play the Genji. They're more than happy to reposition and then make Sparker an absolute menace with these grenades and playing through these ant matrices. Is another such occurrence of Sparker dealing a disgusting amount of damage with that Baptiste ultimate. And I think the hard thing is, is like you see, uh, you know, a lot of the players on the Justice, they want to play aggressive, they want to play fast, but against this London comp, there's just too much burst damage to play that risky against. And Alfie, he's got a big job. How does he play around the Ant Matrix, the Immortality Field, the Sound Barrier? He was where he's able to wait on the blade while his team already had an advantage and the London Spitfire had to use beat preemptively. But in the last fight of this map, things didn't draw up that way. They had to force the issue and there was no way of forcing the Sound Barrier out of London before Alfie could find a good blade. So it did nothing. Yeah, I mean, but if you're going to play around that blade, right, and they have that sound barrier that's just lurking on the other side, if you can't get that sound barrier out, and, you know, especially in a map like Control, the point's just ticking up. I mean, you're in a terrible spot. And, like, where did the justice go from here? Oh. Uh, the one round they won, a little bit of verticality, right? I was yeah. going to say, yeah, Nimbani would be the way to go here, I think. Which it's it going to be like preferable be. to Midtown, Matt. I think you yeah. can out leverage Alfie maybe on that echo or a little bit uh, of that more extended hero pool. Hard to do that on Midtown. So stick around, everybody. So far, everything going to plan for the Spitfire contingent. Can the justice strike back?
as tradition dictates, our lower bracket here in our 2023 play-ins has turned into an utter bloodbath. And I've got news for you folks, it's not about to get any cleaner anytime soon. This is a fight for survival between the Washington Justice and the London Spitfire. And the latter start strong on their classic composition, one that right now is working really well, and they'd be crazy to go away from it. Oh, I mean, they're not, right? Uh, we, we, we know that. Uh, even if this is a map pick that you would say, you know, it isn't ideal for a slower type of composition like this, uh, they're not going to feel the need to switch because, you no, know, although, although you do say like, hey, they don't have any like mobility to the high ground, they don't have anything like that. You do have the Sim TP to kind of Sim TP plus the Lucio speed to kind of get some of these more immobile heroes around uh, rather quickly. So I don't think they're going to be phased by this whatsoever. No. And it's the kind of map we've seen here and there over the course of the year. And for the Spitfire, they've actually played quite a few different styles. There was a time where we'd see Spark have played Hanzo and Cassidy and picks like that when the dive was, was sort of less of an issue. Lately, London seemed very much stuck on this Bastion Symmetra look. And the Justice, we sort of talked about in the break, and I maybe hinted at Echo here, <laughs> but no surprise to see Alpha Yi back Our on mercy the Genji. Coast. Mm, man. I, I love... I love how London is just like memeing the entire time in all chat during all of their games. Whether they're trying to, you know, s stir some drama up on the other side, whether they're just trolling. Uh, it just shows how like loose and free and fun they're playing, right? Everybody kind of comes in all, you know, uh, inject up for a, a play in game, right? They're, they just seem so chill right now well, with the way they're playing. There's something to be said for being able to walk into an elimination game like this with no regrets and honestly nothing to fear because you know you've done the work. And you have to feel that win or lose, the London Spitfire are satisfied. And that's a fun team to watch. Right now, though, the prospect of victory very much on the table, especially after the showing we saw on Oasis. And guess what? We're going to rub our foreheads together here in a not-so-nice way. Very aggressive posturing here between Hardy and Mira on the high ground. And here comes the wheel smoke. Mira already laid low, forced it back around the corner floor, trying to reciprocate here with the immortality fields come down. Oh, Mira! Ooh. He's over the edge! <laughs> Sayonara, sucker! And now inside that immortality field, Hardy will be forced back here, but Alpha Year Mira already felled, and this is just pleasantry. See you later, Flora. You're done! Hardy doesn't care. Takes two players out there with the charge. The Alpha Year acknowledges that Hardy is the GOAT. Oh, and that's man. the first point. Uh, that is not great there for the Justice. Um, no, they, they just got, they got bullied a little bit. What? <laughs> it's just, it's just nothing but London. It's pure, unadulterated London Spitfire. This is a map that the Justice chose. Maybe yeah. they thought they'd be able to find the edge over this, I don't know, uh, less flexible setup? I guess it just doesn't have a If you were to really. sum up the London Spitfire as a team, it would be Hardy doing a double pin on players off the map and then also just chatting in all chat and just be the entire yep. time. I want to remind everybody, this is the only team that are playing Reinhardt like this and they are finding success consistently. It's the era of specialists, Matt, in the Overwatch League. Hardy right, showing is just why. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is funky. Uh, Spark did not I, have I the player in the so there. Deep. They were so deep that like, I, and then they saw Teru off on his own. They tried to commit to try and go after him. Uh, he's able to live. So uh, after a really nice point A take, uh, it's a, just a really bad yeah. fight there. Uh, Maybe they huffed, London after that. Maybe they huffed too many of Hardy's very masculine pheromones after that last uh, display. Everybody getting on the, the, the warp feed drive. Anyway, Hardy pulls back briefly. He'll have wheels mode now from Flora. Alpha, you coming in over the top here with a blade. Seek the teleporter. Say, I'll get rid of that one as well. Immortality kill keeps Lamb standing, and Alpha needs to shelter under his own here. He doesn't find any kills in the end. Now, might have another crack at it, though, with a sound barrier. That extra durability goes a long way, and London were filtered into the corridor. It's easy pickings for Flora with that ult. Yeah, they decide to hold on to their sound barrier. I thought for a second maybe that London would answer back with a sound barrier of their own, right? But I think they're just going to kind of play the long game here in the sense that they still have almost four minutes to attack. Oh, my goodness. That's how it came. Oh, the shadow was oh, lost as well. Oh, for the shatter. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I suppose. Don't know what the exchange rate's looking like right now. London definitely coming off second best in that one, though. From the high ground. TP high ground. 
I wonder if they want to use his artillery. Yeah. Yeah, I, again, the Justice are playing fairly wide themselves here, though. Flora able to dodge away from that. Now we've switched sides, and there's an Ant Matrix in the way. Hardy sheepishly throws up the shield and the white flag for now. Yeah, but uh, London, they have their own air matrix in their own sound barrier after this, right? You know the blade is down, so you might be able to hold on to that. What was that from Mira? Sometimes you go where the wind takes you, apparently. And uh, he heads straight towards London and tries to get another Sometimes threat. you're just trying to make a play, you know? Maybe there's something about your opponent, you know, Hardy, that is, playing with such exuberance that you want to try and match it, but that did not pay uh, also, off for Mira. Also, it may not be that terrible of a play. Uh, they end up using the sound barrier and the air matrix off of it, right? Maybe you come back here if you can get another fight. You'll get Blade going up against nothing. Uh, let's see, looks like they might be able to get a touch. Yes, they will. Uh, the flex. Yeah, they should be able to get a touch. Javelin upstairs. And from they have the Blade. Saw so Spark and Plank from there. I mean, it's a very strong position for London. He's going to be a blade in front of Spark. What do you do about this one, Alfie? Slices and dices. Hardy's in deep trouble. He'll get pinned to the wall there and cleaned up pretty comfortably. That's a couple of lost fights here for London. It's slow going in this second phase of the map. But that was, like you mentioned, a bit of an ultimate trough in, uh, I guess, in the shadow of the blade from Alpha Yi. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they had they had a bit of an advantage there in terms of, you know, knowing they had the blade versus no support ults. Both were using that previous fight. And it set themselves up quite nicely for this one too. Double support ult with your artillery. So you think maybe you can get another hold for the justice. The issue is, is there's still a minute and 46 on the clock. I mean, they have stopped the London a bunch of times here in the second part of the map. How do you find a value really happened so fast. Okay, that's an interesting wall. And they're having to play behind it there. I wonder if... Yeah, okay, Backbone throws it up, so it kind of cuts this in half. Now, as they round the corner, it's actually really well set up for Hardy to play aggressively from behind. Had to be a desperate beat there by Jong Hoon to keep Hardy away, but this will be a checkpoint for London now. And we've got 2.45 to play. Yeah, that wall just kind of like ruins that ant matrix that comes in from Terry, right? Uh, you know, not able to get much value. I got to say the really good point B hold there from the Justice. I mean, the, the first uh, point was just quite ugly. Uh, and a ton of time for the London Spitfire, but the Justice really battled back in that second part of the map, made this a game. Quick fall back there by Sparker through the TP. Holding on to this Bastion Ultimate here for now. Flora doing much the same. Both teams with a lot of mobility, so pretty easy to dodge away from those mortar strikes. Macbeth looking to pressure Mira here as much as possible. Needs to be careful of the poke damage coming in lieu of Hardy's shield. Here comes Flora's ult. Backbone definitely sidesteps that. Mirror down to half now. Poke damage looking pretty good for London. Look at those health bars on the Justice. Donghun maybe getting that Q finger feeling a little itchy right now. Here's an air matrix for the Shannon. Comes in to follow it up. It's three in the front line that are brought down. Backbone tries to push past the air matrix and the sound barrier. Let's London get right up the Justice's nose. Backbone still needs to be careful here, but here comes Sparker. He knows that the Justice are forced back, so he goes for the mortar strike. It's Mirror. Terror Surge comes down. Hardy's able to back away, but only for now. Looking a little bit low, but Terry was picked off by Sparker. He's found two midway through the fight. And Alfie is on the back foot of more ways than one. Oh, and they do a great job of just kind of like kiting away from the Alfie Dragon Blade when the Terror Surge is coming down. Backbone, I mean, that sound barrier from Admiral comes at the perfect time to be able to keep him up as he went aggressive. So that is a map completion with a minute and 16 in the bank. That's a scary thing, playing this Orisa into Reinhardt. If you aren't able to get very close to Reinhardt in Fortify, you cannot block that shatter. Instead, there was no Fortify at all, and even it looked like the Justice were going for a power play behind that Ant Matrix. Three of them knocked in their asses, and then it was London speeding forward with a sound barrier, getting past that Ant Matrix. So even if the Justice picked themselves back up, they had nowhere to go. And I feel like it's going to be harder for the Justice here on offense uh, in in many ways, right? You know, the, the slower kind of composition, you know, trying to get access to that high ground. Now they're kind of given the high ground, right? The London Spitfire. So uh, Justice, I feel like going to have to play even better. They're also in a really tough spa, right? I mean, with a minute and 16, it's a decent amount of time in the time bank. London got that first point so fast uh, that you know, you're, you've got to get a first point take that's rather you know effortless uh you know rather quick here for the justice and this again comes back to the main discussion about how we make this genji work uh, especially in the face of all that defensive utility from a baptiste lucio backline 
Can Dong Hun and Alfie put it together? Or did London just teleport onto the back line of the Justice as they try and approach? There's a lot of options here, and if you are willing to take the tempo as the defenders, you can win a free fight or two. Attackers Defend objective A. It's, uh, nothing changing here for the Washington Justice here on their offense. We'll see what London, how they decide to play this there. Now, th this is where London on offense, right? They just kind of came through this choke and, you know, kind of pushed the Justice back, really gave them no option. We'll see if the Justice are able to do the same thing. Uh, it's just no threat, you know, with that sim, right? You know, coming from different angles, you know, getting behind. No threat of that here from the Justice. I like this though, playing coast is out for you. Donghun is not too far away here. Alpha you needs pretty consistent healing though, so he needs to make use of those packs, which means he needs to duck out of the fight intermittently. Backline is playing across the map, but can still throw a rescuing TP in for the rest of his team. Sparker sees the immortality full come down, but doesn't expect the damage coming for the air matrix. Look at that impulse from the Justice. They blow the Spitfire limb from limb. That is a really fast sand matrix as well. I mean, just a lot of damage there going up in the choke, and that is uh, that is that fast take we were looking to see there from the Justice. So, uh, although their you know defense looked better towards the later part, you know of their defensive side, it, still they gave up that first checkpoint rather quickly. They get it back here now against Spitfire. That's actually one of the places. Uh in the entirety of the game where you build the fastest Baptiste ults or healing ults in general. Uh, Bedosin, I think, has one of the fastest in six versus six playing from that position. Built on in about 35, 40 seconds. Uh, that was quite, that was many moons ago, but yeah, great place to be Baptiste. Popping those heals out of Flora. Geronimo, he says. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, d I don't know if he was going to exist Whey. anyway. Is that a little bank shot here. Oh, I like that. Got lineups. Catch that on TikTok. Tricks up master over here. There, there are people that spend yeah, hours and hours Bastion, and hours. Bastion grenade lineups are popping on TikTok. Bro, right I mean, it's right up there with like gold and silver player opinions on TikTok. It's actually crazy. It's wild out there, man. I learned so much. Yeah, All right, here's Jack's doing good with those. Yeah, <laughs> Mirai Flora dropped to the ground. Let me compose myself. Sparker does have this ultimate here, but not a great place to use it. The symbol is great though. This is going to slow things right yeah, down. Does. The Justice don't want to challenge this in such a lopsided, jeez, uh, uh, God help me, situation. Yes, uh, so there, but you, I mean, you have everything here for the Justice, right? I mean, look at this, this put Hadi in a really They're difficult already situation, but look at that, they TP right out. Yeah, they were already gone, not even the whiff of the, that man mask from Hardy would remain after Spitfire TP'd out. This is a little scary. Sparker yep, couldn't play from behind Hardy's shield there while he was turning it to try and stop the radiating AoE damage from those Bastion Mortars. A little bit of a, a little bit of a blooper moment there, perhaps, but Alpha Yi's blade is not going to be necessary here. The Justice are finding every advantage and exploiting it to its maximum. I think for London, it's just more important that you get another fight. We'll see if they're able to do so. Uh, because this would actually set the Justice up with a good amount of time to really challenge the Spitfire towards the end of the map. And they're just kind of looking where everybody is. It looks like they're trying to come back. Uh, I don't have the can. artillery come in here. Sparker maybe oh, trying TP. to use this. Oh, they get the TP. <gasps> wait, wait. He's going to be forced off the cart. Oh, Hardy just gets there by the looks of things, but he's taken <laughs> down. The rest of the Spitfire are in presence, though, and they have an air matrix to play from now. Alpha, you might look to put this to bed pretty quickly, Matt. He'll play it slow. They know yeah, there's no main tank for the Spitfire. No, you, no need to use it. Yeah. I, I thought it, maybe you were going to end up using the sound barrier there and really try and fight it, but uh, you would have had nothing for the blade, which comes up next, which would have been terrible there for True. London. So they do end up trying to challenge it, uh, but they just get wiped. I mean, Hadi is in an impossible situation to live there, right? I mean, he TPs in and there's no, I mean, nobody anywhere, you know, he's like, hey guys, it's all TP and he's the only one that goes. Uh, and he's just in a really bad spot. <laughs> I like that, but that Matrix is moving with the cart, so the Justice can still make use of it here as they play from the opposite side. We still have that blade and guess what? It's pound time! The sound barrier came out for the Spitfire and Alpha Yi spots his opportunity to go in. Flora also getting involved, finding his 12th final blow. Washington Justice are dominating right now. Yeah, they are really getting it rolling here. Is uh, Backbone's going to try and make it out with his life. Is uh, they're trying to figure where is this TP too? Is they can't push in too deep, right? Now everybody coming off spot. Hardy stopped short by a javelin there, but the London Spitfire able to very quickly swarm over the situation and reassume position in this choke. 
for now. They're going to be pushed back, though. Hardy very low. Took about 200 damage. And that shield has seen better days. We're waiting for a shout out, but the Terra Surge could be a problem. He goes for it anyway, but he's caught inside. It's going to be Backbone playing from behind the wall now. He's charged up and ready to go, and Donghun quickly has to turn tail. Backbone can't push any further, though. No kills for the Spitfire. Just some breathing room now as Wheels Mode is activated. There's the TP for a disengage from London. They keep losing Hardy early in these fights, though. I mean, they, they gotta be able to try and keep him alive because when they lose Hardy, I mean, they're in a world of trouble. Hardy's getting exploited so far on this map. He's two and nine. Very hard for him to hang with Mira in the front line here, who uses his spear spin as a bit of parasol to block that damage coming in. I guess they are projectiles in the end. Bouncing grenade knocks floor four, but it's going to be a major seat for both sides. The Justice just have better opportunity to use theirs by the looks of things, but Mira still crumbles. Spark is still able to find enough damage to get rid of both Mira and Terra when Hardy steps up now. One hammer swing would deal with the Bastion, but he's happy enough with creating some space for the rest of his team. We've got two minutes 15 to work with. London can't get ahead of themselves. <laughs> but where is the rest of his team, right? I mean, he is waiting for players to get off spot. He's got a Bash and Lucio combination to his right, and then he's got a, you know, a the Genji there as well. As uh, now some players off a respawn. I mean, this sound barrier, you know, really for the London Spitfire, right, is going to be the thing that keeps him in. Oh, that is a huge pick, and they use the sound barrier after that. It was oh, the grenade. Brutal for the, the grenade justice. hit Flora and Donghun both back, and the follow-up damage was so easy to find for Landon. I can feel the tides turning right now. London get to hold on to this sound barrier. And so the Justice have to find a way to force it out to allow Alpha E to succeed. Oh man, is that is uh, brutal, right? Uh, you know, you lose your large source of damage right as the sound barrier is going down. And that would have been a uh, one where now that almost guarantees that London's going to have a better time. Building some ultimates too, some big ones. Water strike from Flora. Nothing coming out of those. Spitfire playing dispersed enough to not be bothered. Mirror a little bit low. This is going to take a while before Teru can get him back in shape. He's taking constant this poke damage. This sound barrier advantage for London may be what decides it. I mean, not having that here for the Justice is going to be tough. What a wall. What a wall. Can you get away from the Terra Surge here? Landon tries to take to the skies, and he does. Then Immortality Field saves his bacon. And now the Justice are well and truly out of position. They're trying to play this weird tight angle on the right. They've got to reposition. They've got to go again. But Hardy doesn't want to give them the space. He pushes up, just trying to maybe even just get some damage built down some ultimate. But look at this Dangerous. floor up in the high ground. There's a few other players here. Spark has got to Blade. be so careful. There's no beats here. Alpha, you looking for another one? No they one's standing up. Here comes Spark, his ultimate. Alpha, you lines him up there. Shadow's going to come in, though. Mirror's going to be taken down at the start of this fight. Alpha, he's got to run. He was so low at the time. Teru threw that immortality field on the corner. 17 seconds left in the round now for the Justice to work with this, and they are getting cut down one after another. Teru, there's no escape. Hardy charged past him to make sure he'd connect with the hammer. And looks like the run for the Justice on Nambani is all but over. Well, uh, good point A, pretty good point B as well there for the Justice. But, you know, at the end, it, all London. When you have these fights with just so many ultimates, you know, just kind of saved up, banked up, chucked into them. Uh, you know, not having that sound barrier to match there at the end uh, proved to be really difficult. And now I think the Justice are in a, a very tough spot, Mitch. You know, with uh, you, know, you you have an, even in a map where you have a ton of verticality, you think maybe you can kind of take advantage of it with the Genji. Uh, that doesn't work out here either. So I don't even know what you consider going with. Washington Justice end that map with four more final blows in the London Spitfire. London give up a player or yeah. two at the start of these fights, but that Reinhardt shield has been so crucial. Hardy pushes ahead on his own sometimes to simply create the space. And unless you have that wheels mode or your Orisa is alive in the front line, it's extremely hard to get past it. That plus the Symmetra wall, all these damage mitigation uh, utility pieces from the London Spitfire. Even if the Justice get more kills, they're not able to make more progress. That's got to be frustrating. Yeah, I mean, oh, we, uh, take a look at some oh. of the highlights. I mean, it's just insane stuff from Hardy here uh, right at the start. Oh, he's so good. It's, uh, it, and you notice like some of the ways like uh, in that last fight, right? When he, he actually kind of like uses a charge to get in position and then shields Sparker. Sparker's putting like, you know, basically turns his back to where Sparker's fighting and just basically puts the shield up so they can't shoot at that Bastion from behind and lets him finish off Laura in the corner. Just. Uh, really nice use it and honestly it's really difficult to make the Reinhardt work right with the only team we see using it at the moment so 
Hadi has to play it perfectly to make it happen. And a lot of the times he does. This is the play right here. You see him use that shield, just kind of like to turn around the corner, block any of that damage coming from afar. Zoravasa so is the pick from the Washington Justice for our next map. And I've got to say, I want to ask Teru how he feels about having to play against a Reinhardt with an Orisa because he was getting picked off a lot at the start of those fights. It's going to be an explosive map here coming up in the third, and London want to continue to advance in this lower bracket. To do so, in a win on Suravasa will guarantee it. Justice, what do you see when you look down in this abyss? Is it the end of the run, the end of the year, or a chance at redemption? A shot of glory and a big old fat reverse sweep will be required here against the London Spitfire, who are laying down the law. It looks shaky at times on Numbani. I definitely feel like, you know, we were able to see a little bit of what the Justice are capable of. But eventually, Matt, they get ground down by London and is constantly in your face, never dying, Hardy Reinhardt. Yeah, no, it just seems like there's just not, you know, uh, anything they can do to that pressure that comes through, right? As, uh, you know, I'll take a look at the London Spitfire uh, team here. We'll take a look at uh, Sparker stats. Uh, I know Sparker playing the Bastion here uh, for the London Spitfire uh, has a little bit of an advantage sometimes, uh, you know, with the ability to be able to kind of move around the map a little bit easier with that sim. 41% of the team's damage there on Numbani. 
you get to play from behind your Rhine Shield. It feels like a massive advantage. Something that, if you take for granted, can cause you to get blown out when there's an ant matrix that comes down. We actually saw that as London were defending yeah. on that first point high ground. All of a sudden, boy, you're not nearly as safe as you thought you were playing from behind Hardy. Is that, you know, that shield just vaporized in a matter of seconds. Outside of that, though, feels like you have, uh, you know, a bit more of an easier time. I'd say the same for, you know, Landon versus Teru. Teru's getting picked up a lot at the start of these fights. Not able to play far enough from the locus of the, the gunfire or the, the Bastion fire to stay safe. Whereas Landon can benefit from Hardy, uh, play a bit safer, have a bit more time to set up these immortality fields and such as that Reinhardt Shield is buying them time and buying them space. It's not quantum physics, Matt, it's just good Overwatch. And so far the London Spitfire are making their style work. Flashpoint, right? Mobility is even uh, more key, right? <laughs> Compared to just about any other game mode with how big these maps are. I mean, they're just enormous. So uh, having that added benefit of the sim, uh, you know, it may not get you an extra fight, right? But uh, it, it, it'll, it'll speed things up. It'll like throw timings off a little bit from the opponent. Yeah, well, I feel like we've seen the comps without the Genji here sometimes have some difficulty. These are two teams that aren't going to play Soldier 76 on a map like this. Maybe Spark is someone you'd expect to go that way. Flora also in the past, prolific Soldier player. Both teams definitely of the same mind that Bastion is a must-have on this map. We'll see London set up, and again, I want to bear that in mind. Backpoint actually, okay, he's going to play the Soldier, so this is an interesting little tweak. Oh, interesting, yeah. This could well, be a Soldier problem. is just really good at these off angles, right, on, on, on this map specifically. Uh, we see it time and time again. Now, this causes, like, a lot of problems, though, right? Because now you have the Bastion damage and see? the 76 no right shield. so much. Like, what does Flora have to do to stay alive here? Uh, he can't play anywhere near Mirror in that situation, who's just taking all the damage. Yeah. And even Backbone, like, oh. Backbone plus Sparker, the, the amount of pressure you can put down on Arisa, as durable as she is, uh, Teru has to be working overtime. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what what you're supposed to do to be able to try and live through that. I mean, uh, you know, the 76 feels like oppressive on his own, and then you kind of throw the bash in the mix. Can't wait to see what happens when the ant matrix goes down uh, as players start exploding. Is that uh, a big big grenade lands there on Sparker? But you're gonna get that healed up as London takes control of this first point. And then we the Justice out here in this choke to start. We look at the damage. He constantly, right? Any one or two players of the Justice are like half health at all times. Just this incidental poke damage makes it hard to keep everyone topped up. This is great, though. This is a very powerful play. The immortality field thrown down there off to the side. For it's a pretty comfortable kill there, and he'll find another one with the grenade. Backbone trades out, but London aren't in a great position unless there's another pick from the Soldier, and looks like the Spitfire aren't looking for that. It's, uh... It'll be the Justice flipping the point here, but you can back up, right? London can kind of regroup here as a team, and you know what? You attack, like, from one side with a visor, maybe even, you know, kind of have that artillery dropping from the other. Like, you're at a spot where you can flip this back. Sound barrier coming up pretty soon here for Admiral. Dongan's still a bit away away from it, so this is a little scary. Oh, Javelin 12 here. Teru living dangerously on that low ground. Backbone getting some free damage. This will allow London to effortlessly regain control of the point but there's a blade and there's a terror surge up here for the justice so expect to see those leverage in the coming moments here they come sparker had to be a little careful to try and get away from those but so far so good desperately as we were trying to play around this middle part of the map here and hope to get a chance for a good terror surge but i don't know when that's going to happen I mean, what, what does he have to do? He has to like, kind of like run into the opponent there. I mean, to, to make that happen. I mean, 95% there for London is uh, the point does go back to just a sound barrier from the high ground. Alpha here going with the Dragon Blade here, has to try and fight through this beat, and so he does. Hardy was low enough. He was able to pick up that kill. 19 health and a dream for Alpha Yeez. He snaps up that mini and keeps the Justice down in position. If there's a kill here, they might just have the point. They're good. Oh, and Hit Matrix comes here by London. Maybe trying to just find a kill that can get them back to the point. But yeah, I mean, this... Uh, oh, wait, there's a, there's a Lucio on the point. Admiral's there. He actually was able to touch. I think he's 1v1ing one Flora right now. Can he stay alive? That's what I have to wonder. Spark was able to bring Mirror down now. 94%. Spark has found yet another one. Yes. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. Admiral just falling Admiral. there. The cavalry, to be fair, we're still a couple leagues away. Dude, losing that in that fashion would have been... I mean, that would have been, you, you can't imagine they would have bounced back from that, right? I mean, that would have been horrible way to lose. I mean, <laughs> Admiral's making like a sick play there. Uh, no, uh, 
in the background just trying to actually you know keep it contested as sparkers picking up some kills uh it is the justice taking that first point but man that is too close for comfort Admiral just unable to hold on for quite long enough quite the job to be given really back one with the air uh, with the tack visor there's no way he's going to find anyone on the justice with this but it will allow them to move into position this is a pretty favorable spot for London to play from here. Admiral able to get back behind Hardy Shield just in time. Could have been wheels mode that threatened that reposition. Spark is really spacing out his mortar shots, Matt. And what he's trying to do is make it very, very hard for Flora to be able to stand in line of sight to pressure this Hardy Shield down. See, look, he's holding it. Yeah. He's the Artillery first. Artillery fires one. Yep. Gets, that's the... It's the literally zoning. Oh, he just fires like all of them in one spot, pretty much. Tries to push them all the way to the side. And that gives you 50% and counting. You've lost the immortality field though. Alpha is close to a blade. He's already in good position to make it work. You may not need it though. Sound barrier came out there from Admiral. You understand why he goes for it here. But I think it's wasted. Yeah, I mean, do you? I mean, so, so I, I get your point where it's like, hey, you know, maybe you have to use that sound barrier. Maybe you get a little bit of extra percentage out of that. But I, I feel like it almost sets you off worse in the sense that I mean, look at this now. You have nothing, right? They have Sound Barrier and Blade. They're going to be able to hold on to both of these, right? No, uh, you can use the Blade. I have no fear to, you know, kind of have to use the Sound Barrier. You can be, uh, you know, pretty loose in how you use that now. I, I feel like that's one you probably would have wanted to hold on to if you're Admiral. Well, yeah, it also hurts that he wasn't able to save the player that he was trying to use it for, I think. So this Blade here is not much to really answer it. Even an Immortality Field is not really going to be enough. Especially with the sound barrier from the Justice. Alpha Yi is all over it. Lays waste to the Spitfire. And you better believe, Admiral, which is he had that one back. Yeah, yeah it would have been nice to have the, the sound barrier there. But uh, now you're a little bit more even. You're going to have to worry about this Ant Matrix that's going to come through. But uh, the Justice putting up a really good fight here on Flashpoint. And you're going to have Backbone now playing that Sim. Oh, big shatter. Terry got hit by that one. Hardy disintegrated very quickly, though, and it was the Air Matrix without Hardy in play. Now London know what it's like to be the Justice facing that ability down without a shield. And they've lost another point. They've given it up. The Justice up 2-0. and zero. Yes, uh, the Justice move closer here Flashpoint. towards winning Flashpoint. Uh, you know, tr trying to bounce back in this series, really, in kind of any way they can. So uh, this next point, though, looks like London's going to get there way faster because of this sim now. Yeah, Spawn favored them here. They have gone back to the sim as the soldier. We saw the attack visor come out from him and really didn't find anything. Hardy took an immense amount of damage in a very short space of time there. He's trying to give himself some time to regenerate that shield. It's a decent position, but by being on the point, you give up the high ground. That's the problem here on this point. Sparker. Much of that damage getting deflected back towards him. Backbone has the shield, though. The barrier will be massive here. He, he lays it down straight away. Mortar Strike pretty widely spread by Flora. He doesn't take his time like Sparker does. He wants to get back into the fight. And Backbone will have to reposition back behind his wall again. No capture yet. So the London Spitfire have a great sim wall, but it doesn't give them any extra percentage. It doesn't give them a real advantage in this fight. And now they're at a disadvantage. Mira gets charged away, though. He's very low, goes for a Terra Surge, but he can't get it off. Yeah, I mean, he may have been going it just to give himself a fortify, trying to just keep himself alive there uh, for a brief second, as uh, this will be the London Spitfire. They should be able to get control of this first. As, uh, it looks like just one more player yet. Yeah, hung on the point. So it'll be London in control first. I feel like they've gotten control of, like, every flashpoint. They just haven't been able to, like, close it out. Because so. they run into an Alpha E blade with no sound barrier. Now, the first yeah. point, they actually had one, in fairness. Uh, Alpha E was, was more limited in that kind of fight. The last point, though, uh, we saw what happened. Admiral felt he had to use it. You know why? Spitfire were under a lot of pressure in that previous fight. Here, though, you better figure it out. Because Alpha Yi, uh, he does not miss. You give him an opening, like not having a defense ultimate, he'll exploit you. Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't know what you can do against it. I mean, you see they're playing up there on the high ground. I mean, maybe the idea is to, like, bait them in. And then, I mean, this is really tough for Hardy. Oh, man. man. Is, uh, an what is this? The map. I mean, that is... And Not you're great. just playing inside the room across the point. Now you can hope to stall, but that's a head scratcher for me, man. I have no they, way they to... Like, they're just going to pop the blade, like, regar like, regardless on the way in. I mean, you know, maybe you're trying to 
get closer to shatter or something I, I don't really know but i mean hottie's so far away from the team they can't get a tp for him back the the immortality feels broken instantly and that's just <laughs> it i mean my issue is that you can stall the point from not there if you're hardy you know you actually have the the fountain in between you and your team so it might be harder to los you or to los the people that you're trying to bait into the open for easy kills anyway he's one the wall and a blade from alpha yee that's backbone down first. Immortality field, as you would expect, has been deployed. It's just not nearly enough to stop this guy. He's a freak, and he wants you to know it. I mean, look, when, when he can get these blades off, when they don't have a sound barrier on the other side, this looks like a justice team that can definitely uh, win and contend against this uh, Spitfire squad. It's just, you know, up until this map, they've been a really nice job being able to have the Admiral hold on to that up until the point that they absolutely need it, but will be pretty much a tie game as we go into another fight. You have to use this wall, right? You uh, you don't have control of the point. You're giving up percentage. You have to find a way to turn this wall into an advantage in this fight. It allows London to reposition to this side. They maybe want to try and go left to the high ground here. They need to find some eliminations and there's a terror surge that is looming large. Mira, yeah, he wants to push up a little bit more here now. This is an ultimate from Sparker. Don't know where it's going to be going though. Sound barrier from Donghun. So clearly he felt like he was forced to go for it. And it'll be one from Admiral at the same time. Hardy's a little bit low, but Mira's seen better days as well. Terra Search for the durability here. And still going to be brought down. But both tanks are gone. Now Alpha Yi, left to try and fight out in the open. Backbone works his way through the deflect though. And the Spitfire looks like they might finally have a reprieve here, Matthew. Yeah, I mean, I, it just takes Backbone to get just charged up there on the sim and just run through everybody to make it happen. Uh, I feel like, yeah, the Justice are going to give up on this one because you're just going to have Dong Hoon Terry come off the spawn now. So you're going to give up on this Flashpoint. There's London still hanging around. London will be second to this point. Well, they did try and get off the mark. First run, excuse me. Just a little bit quicker. The Justice come off that spawn now in London. We'll play here around this sort of first corner. Very common spot for these engagements to occur. And again, I want to draw your attention to that number next to Alpha E's portrait. The blade will be big as it has been for this entire map. I mean, it's also been big because London just playing so clumped together, right? And you see all, all their health bars just like blending into one over there, it looks like. And Matrix here from both sides. Alpha Yi may consider going around it. So he does. Gets into the back line first, deals with the turrets. Here come the swings. It's going to be backbone to fall first. Alpha Yi, maybe want to be a bit more discreet in the second part of that engagement. And he does. He goes for the deflect. Man really understands his limits. And that's a clean win for the Justice. I mean, the hard thing is, is like, Admiral is like so close to these beats. Like they're, they're off by just like a few seconds, really. That like now, you know, you just get sound barrier in this dilemma where you know you just can't hold it up until the, the this guy gets another blade, right? You have to end up using your beat. Uh, but then you don't have it that next go around by just a, a, a little bit of a window. Admiral might want to use this one straight away. This will let them push past the wall. Here's the beat. Comes down now. Hardy found a shadow on Donghun. Teru Flora all affected by it. It's an easy cleanup here. Maybe didn't even need the uh, sound barrier in the end. Hardy now wants to stagger. They've captured the point here. Flora is forced to stand around and try and pray for sweet release. He knows what's going on. That's brutal. Uh, especially because the flashpoint uh, control points, they tick up so fast, right? So you lose Flora. You're going to have to have Dongun just wait for him in the spawn. Make sure nobody else gets staggered. You see, uh, look like Hottie was thinking about it there for a sec. As, uh, this is a fight, though, where the Justice have a huge advantage, right? Double support ult coming on in should should be able to retake. The only advantages for London are really are positional here. The Bastion Ultimate can get a lot of value, though, if the Justice are slow to wrap around this corner and take the fight. They can't just push headlong into Hardy's shield. Maybe they can. That's what Mira's doing. It's exactly what he's planning. Up the stairs they go, but the Bastion Ultimate could be scary here. Instead, it's going to be a grenade that goes in first. Alpha, you went for the blade. This one, not quite as auspicious. Sparker dealt with by Mira pretty easily here, and this would be it. This would be the Washington Justice ending things on Suravasa and staying alive in this elimination game. Admiral riddled with holes as he slowly falls to the ground. Extra aerodynamic after that treatment from Flora and Mira. Another stall from Hardy who drops in on the Doomfist. Probably the only time you'll see that 
And there you have it. The Justice hang on. It's a white knuckled grip on the edge of the cliff, but they're in the game. Yeah, but you can see if, if they can kind of get these blades and, you know, work these types of fights in their favor in terms of this ultimate advantage, they are in a spot where they can definitely take maps and, you know, take a series off of the London Spitfire. Uh, it's not exactly dealing with the issues that the, the Reinhardt possesses, uh, possesses, right? It's just more, of, you know, relying on Alfie with that blade to be able to take out, you know, two, three people, win a fight, and then hold on. You have double support. All the next fights are chaining them together uh, and make a real impact. 15 and 6 for Alfie over the course of Suravasa. A 5k blade, that's a memorable one to be sure. We kind of knew this would hurt either way. But I didn't know it would be this bad. Even with the immortality field, see how it's just ignored. <laughs> one after another they fall. Flora actually gets a kill there, so unfortunately only the 4 for Alfie, but made it look good. I mean, what, Alfie has 11 Dragon Blade kills on this map, right? I mean, just insane value with that ultimate, right? You think of, you know, probably had it you know, three times you can think of off, you know, the top of your head, right? Just getting big value every single time. I mean, right here, right? London's trying to take position before this final point, you know, ultimately comes up. And, you know, just able to just bully him back, right? Here comes the rest of the team. Some big damage goes down. He already gets a kill. And then with Mir's help, able to finish him off. Esperanza coming up for our push map. The London Spitfire want to put this one to bed. Expect to see likely more Reinhardt versus Orissa head-to-heads. It's going to be the Genji difference maker. Can Alfie be that guy to take it to a map five? Stick around because there's only one way to find out.
Gowdy on Suravasa for the London Spitfire, who are poised to wash the Justice away. But the Justice had other plans. It was all about the Genji. As per usual, Alfie able to make a big difference here. Flora also, after struggling a lot early on in the round, having to deal with this Soldier 76. Well, we saw Washington being able to force the switch, and Alfie was able to thrive. 11 of 15 final blows came from Dragon Blades. Yeah, I mean, it's massive, right? Uh, you kind of uh, actually, I think it's a, uh, and Noah just put this a really interesting set, like Dragon uh, Dragon Blade kills most in a game, you know, all time, right? In a wow. Map, it's uh, Sparkle with 15. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, you know, 14, 12, 11, right? So that is a uh, top four, you know, uh, games in terms of, you know, kills with a Dragon Blade. I mean, you just see how effective it was. I mean, every single time the Spitfire had no answer for it. I think, you know, Alfie's able to find uh, a lot to do outside of those Dragon Blade windows as well. Uh, deflecting a lot of that damage back at the Reinhardt. So that's extra shield pressure when you're sending Bastion damage back at him. Uh, also, just being able to play with the Shuriken from the back line. We saw Hardy overextend on that uh, third point, I think. Uh, and he was able to punch Bro, you got 11 kills there. with Dragon Blade. You ain't got to do anything outside of that window. You got to start looking around, start asking what, what everybody else is doing outside of those windows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure that question was posed uh, on a couple of occasions there. Flora able to chime in, chime in at quite a few points there, and Mira doing well standing up against Hardy's Reinhardt on a couple of those points here. So you've got to give it to him. The Justice managed to figure it out. But now we're into the realm of the London Spitfire map selection because they get to pick the last two maps if we even end up going to that fifth. So uh, this Genji's still going to be a thing, though. Yes. Like, like I, I don't think the Justice are going to switch off of it. Especially they came in, obviously, thinking it was going to be you know, awesome and effective, right? As Alfie's played it a lot this season. Uh, in you know, the first two maps, not as much, but that map, you definitely see like, hey, there is a path here, right? There's not going to they're not going to be like scared to run this in this next map. Well, I don't think this is anything particularly new to the Spitfire, because after their outing uh, against the Uprising, they probably had a lot of footage. Uh, and a lot of insights about going up against like a prolific Genji using comp. There were maps where Decay had an outsized impact on the game on virtue of being very effective in his role as the only Genji on the field. So this is something that London have been exposed to on a couple of occasions. There's something I'd love to hear from them as well. Uh, if we get an interview from them, if they end up winning this game, uh, sort of how you play around that when you sort of don't want to bring a Genji of your own into these games, especially because you're dealing with world-class Genjis in back-to-back -back matches. There's some intangibles there that can be really hard to account for. Yeah, absolutely. Is uh, The next map will be Esperanza. So this is the London Spitfire pick. Uh, I think you'll see the, uh, obviously, you know, they kind of switched about, you know, maybe a little bit even before halfway through that map from the soldier back to the sim. I think you're going to see the sim yet again. Lots of different spots you can maneuver around the map. A lot of times you're going to see the Spitfire actually just kind of like TP take the opposite side of the map, right? The justice side of the map. So uh, fully expect this one to get a little crazy. And maybe we get to see some of the flexibility. Uh, push maps sometimes give us uh, some different tank choices uh, on occasion. You'll note that there's been no move to bring Ben Best back into the lineup here. Mira really is holding his own, uh, playing or Orissa entirely over the course of this series. And on the London side, I think if you see switches, there's probably not a great sign. We've actually seen teams at times go for Sojourn on this map, and that straight away telegraphs a real desire to make heavy use of the high ground uh, on either side of that sort of neutral zone we start on, on yep. this particular map. London, though, don't do that. They just use a Sim TP to drag Hardy back and forth from high to low ground quite effectively here. They gave us a banger of a map uh, against the, uh, the Boston Uprising, so I'm expecting big things from London. I think the scariest part, if you're a Spitfire fan, right, is just uh, you know, Genji player starts to get rolling, like, and you're not able to kind of align those sound barriers, right, with these blades. You're in a in a spot where Alfie can do that yet again, right? I know 11 in the last map, you come up with another 11, you know, 12 kills of Dragon Blade. All of a sudden, now we're staring down, you know, maybe a reverse sweep. Backbone in chat says you thought Soldier was wacky. Well, not really. I mean, <laughs> not particularly. The London Spitfire, we know your game by this point. We're expecting to see very much the same from London and from Washington, respectively. We're very locked in on our compositions at this stage of the meta. And Esperanza, a chance for London to end this series and avert the potential for a map five. And 
And that reverse sweep always looms when you go that far in a series. We're out the gates now. Here we go. Yes, uh, nothing nothing surprising here uh, for both teams, right? As uh, Backbone will go back, play that sim for the entire time. No kind of messing around with the 76 at the start. Way better on Flashpoint than a, uh, a push map. So see how fast they get there, though, with that sim TP. And like I mentioned, like, look, they're already kind of like trying to maybe even take like this Washington Justice side of the map. London might be having to fall back. Oh my God, the flank. Okay, should have no, expected it. Falling back. Yeah, thought they were going to step back, but instead they went straight through that TP. Now, how do you make use of this somewhat compromising spot you boxed the Justice into? The Rhine Shield is gone. Hardy's in deep trouble here. Yep, no protection for him there. And the turrets they set up had already been cleared. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what they do. And we've seen them do that before here on push where they like kind of take the like what, what other teams usually do, right? Is like when London takes that position on the opposite side, uh, the other team actually backs up a little bit further. So London can get control of the bot. So now you're forced to like run at them. Uh, but the Justice actually take the bot and kind of like push it away a little bit, right? Towards that opposite side. So you're not on uh, a clock. We're now Lond yeah, London is the team now on the offensive in that situation, right? They are the team that has to go forward. Uh, and that's not the position they want to be in. It's actually really subtle, right? Having that bot control, uh, preventing yeah. Lennon from just moving it away from you uh, and, and giving you a reason or, or forcing you into that engagement. It's a big difference maker. Here's an air matrix. Hardy's not in a position to protect his team from it. He is below the bridge right now. Still, Lennon was able to find Teru via some mechanism as the immortality field was removed by Sparker. And that, and that bot's now heading like, the opposite this, direction. This yeah, guy. He, that, that's the situation they want, right? Where, you know, the Justice are now having to run at them as the bot is just kind of like running away, right? Just pushing behind them. So uh, London, they give up 31 meters. They're going to get a lot of that back here, though. I don't know how they found that kill on Teru there, but again, <laughs> it's tough yeah. to play without a Reinhardt as the, as the Baptiste. I feel like it's a really different experience for Teru as it is for Landon. Something to keep tabs on, I think, as we go. And yes, now the Spitfire have just snuck into the lead. We'll see, like, can you attack the high ground here? I mean, maybe a token effort from Mira to push his way up there. Here comes this, the blade and the soundberry. Excuse me, Admiral tries to get it off. He was actually in midair for too long, and he couldn't get landed with it. Couldn't Whoa. protect his Baptiste with the sound barrier. I don't know what happened there. If he was knocked off course or beat it from a high place, Either way, he loses his main support. I mean, he's not landing it right at the uh, right time. That is, uh, that is yeah, that, that quite beat brutal ain't landed. there. No, that beat is not <laughs> landing. Yep. Uh, man, but if you if you can't get that down, I mean, that's guaranteed fight wins for the Justice, right? I, mean, I can't believe we're able to boil this whole series down to that, too. We saw that in Suravasa a lot. Terra Surge? Oh, it's Backbone. Just <laughs> he just saw the tsunami coming at him and... Just gonna fight it. Embrace <laughs> it, yes. Walk in the ocean, I guess. Not much Hardy could do there with his shield exhausted and Flora working at full capacity. The Washington Justice hang about, Matthew. They found themselves a new gear. Yeah, I mean, they, they do not uh, want to go home. Uh, clearly, they do not have vacation plans with the shock. Is uh, the Justice now get this first checkpoint? Uh, Ant Matrix here around the corner, right? Or you can back up, take high ground, right? And then uh, Ant Matrix here. So uh, they actually Ooh. do it right around the corner. So they just wanna, in time. You're going to be able to kite this, though. Yeah. They backed away just in time there. Still, though, they're going to well, allow I the mean, bot to push. They have no TP for a bit. meters off of this, right? they get yeah i think you take that also london now okay they opt to take the high ground with the tp that also means they can't use it to engage but if you're the justice man like are you incentivized to to force the issue here uh no i mean not not, not at all i mean you can now start playing from this choke as uh we have a pause here so but you can start playing from that choke you can start playing high ground there's a lot of different things you can do here where you're not necessarily like married or tied to have to push into that Success rates after getting first checkpoints on Esperanza aside. A strong showing already for the Washington Justice being able to push back. Backbone having some tech issues, if I'm not mistaken. So we've called a pause and he has quickly gotten up from his seat. Some time here at least now for the Washington Justice to discuss. They remember, they bought a lot of extra space there with that amp matrix that came down as maybe there's a world in which the London Spitfire try and challenge a play like that, right? We've seen Hardy shatter it. 
and then like a sound barrier to push past it. Not to mention there's no sound barrier available there, but so many plays for the Justice but you were can't... on the high ground there. You can't push it. those plays that you kind of mention it, you can't really use that sound barrier offensively anymore, right? I mean, if you do, like the Justice say, okay, fine, like we'll come back. We'll just wipe the floor with you with a blade the next uh, fight. So it Why did it work for big... them earlier then? Well, I mean, they were they were just like, you know, on control, right? I think the, the game mode's a little bit different. And then also they were doing a much better job of like kind of like kiting around Alfie's uh, blades. They also just got like early picks and fights way more often, it felt like. Uh, where, you know, when you go get Sora Boss where things kind of change, you're not able to line those ultimates really at all. Uh, and I mean, he's just, I think that's also Alfie just getting way more value, yeah. right? being able to get 11 blade kills, right? Versus, you know, kind of what was going on previously. Uh, that's where you're kind of seeing the difference. A moment for the Spitfire to consider what their contingency is going to be now. The Genji is running a rough shot over them. We're going to get to a quick break when we return. It's going to be map four between the London Spitfire and the Washington Justice. And we're back, everybody. There, a uh, yeah, you know the old Ninja Auto update. Caught Backbone unaware, as I'm sure now he has the latest service pack, and he's ready to roll out onto the battlefield once more in the fourth <laughs> map of this series. Uh, that's one of those where you're like, uh, you know what? You, like it like alerts you in the bottom, and you're like, I had uh, 24 hours from now. Yeah, sure, I won't be doing anything. Then all of a sudden, you're in the middle of the game. You're like, oh, that's a problem for future Backbone to deal with. Well, as it stands, we've seen the Spitfire able to... has a lot of problems, right, with the way this series is starting to go. Absolutely. Not least of them, this Alpha Yi Genji. Really getting to grips now with the Spitfire on multiple occasions. They'll buy themselves some space here and almost a chance to isolate Mira. Again, the very pondered shots from Sparker and that oh, ultimate. Oh, he's actually, not able to make it out. Yeah, they get Mira so low. And I'm pretty sure Sparker actually hits him with a couple precision strikes there to bring him below 50%. Nicely done by Alpha Yi here, but this is really just exit frags for now. Admiral will bring him to heal. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mir started to hightail it with the spear spin, you know, fortified, just almost made around the corner at a speed boost as well. 
was not able to do so. So now the bot in control of the London Spitfire is nearly marching oh. to just territory. But look at this. Get the a little split. Bit of a... What are you going to do yeah. with three here? You've been sp spotted by Sparker. Okay, enough time for the Justice to group up. We're going to put both halves of this sandwich together, though. Okay, so far, so good. That's Backbone's spelled. Backbone. I mean, that can't be happening. Something must have gone wrong there. Hardy is still alive and at full health. Did they just not get the memo that, like, uh, you know, a few of them are coming on the flank? But, I mean, Alpha Yi and Dong are not even in that fight. Like, not even close to it when it kicks yeah, off. Yeah, it could have been an uh, energy javelin to sort of isolate him and stun him up. Dong Hun and Flora both affected by this. Admiral has a sound barrier, but the Spitfire don't elect to push into this shadow. They're in trouble. This is a beautiful Terra Surge. Oh, Mira! He plays it right to the limit and is able to get Lana for his troubles. Alpha Yi will be there to back him up as Sparker also is down. But no Mira. Can this hardy advantage give you anything to work with now? It's a sound barrier from Dong Hoon. Alpha Yi, Alex for the blade as Avril had already used his feet in the previous fight. He can clean this one up comfortably. Avril and Hardy down to one swing, and Alpha Yi is the one there as the smoke clears. And honestly, this extra, you know, progress here for the Justice is just like icing on the cake, right? They don't even really need that much more. Uh, it's just taking these fights. If anything, it just gives them a better chance of these fights to, after this occurring at the middle of the map uh, and then winning those. So Alfie using the blade there, putting two away, putting it in the Justice's favor that fight, giving them a feel like a, a four to six more meters. They gotta get Mira. He's so hard to kill. Flora trying to punish with that Bastion ultimate, but the Spitfire was still spry despite being in that small room. Eyes were trained on Mira, but they were able to keep themselves alive at the same time. That last fight was a blowout against the Spitfire. They have to string a few together now as they're still behind by about 42 meters. Yeah, I love to see like if they're gonna go with this kind of split setup yet again, as it looks like actually, at least through the X-ray, don't have the overhead map, but uh, they're all kind of playing here in this choke where London, you don't exactly have to kind of move on down, right? You want to play here. Uh, I know on that high ground, does uh, Mir and Alfie get healed up here by Terry, letting him build up towards that air matrix? As long as they can get Hardy out of there with that TP, it's fine. It's a bit premature and it gets picked off, so now you don't have an option to extract your Reinhardt if things get a bit hairy. There'll need to be a contingency for that as well. Slow and steady. The Justice have no reason to really push here. Exactly. If you're the Justice, just play this patiently, right? They're, they're, even if you gave up the checkpoint, it's not really the end of the world, right? Just kind of like inting in here to the high ground, though, is like where where you will lose. Hard is in trouble. Okay, they have the TP to get him out, so that Ant Matrix goes for very little here. Sparker straggling a little bit as he looks to reposition with the rest of the Spitfire now in this choke. Hardy has yet another shatter, but the Justice won't show themselves around this corner until they're utterly sure they're safe. But Alfie is out of the fight already. What a great start for London. They finally play it patiently enough to get rid of the biggest threat, and Hardy's going to go for it here. The shatter finds absolutely nothing. Dongun's able to have the sound barrier just in time for them. The air matrix is in play. The terror surge is good, but the sound barrier is better. Admiral keeps the London Spitfire standing, and Flora and Teru both get their heads knocked together. Now the Spitfire will have their checkpoint and a chance to look to eat. I mean, that is a huge early kill there by Backbone onto Alfie. I think he actually gets hit with a grenade. There's like an assist that comes in from Sparker. So huge kill. That's going to allow them to get the checkpoint. They can push up a little bit past it as well. And some big ultimates were used there by the Justice. Still a blade that won't be answered by a support ultimate looming. Alfie looks to test here the resolve of the Spitfire by making a dive in there. Turrets get cleared from around the corner. But the Justice just need to be so patient here, right? Like, I, I like what Mir's doing here. Just play this bus. Like, there's no reason for you to run around this corner, right? Just contest. Yeah, they have to be the ones that come yeah. down from that high ground. London have to make the wager here. Alfie picks around the blade again, but this time it will be the Spitfire falling back under TP. Landon down to half, but once more, London will look to regain this ground, but they're running out of time. 35 seconds left in this map. A chance for the Spitfire, if they win this next fight, to win it all right here. The Justice have to be perfect. Oh, so Mir gets quite low, takes some big shots. Still, I like this positioning. The Amp is still going to come in from Landon here in a second. They TP'd out, they get away from it. Immortality Field also gets used, but Hardy! Oh, oh Hardy! He gets cut down on the high ground! He wasn't able to get away, and Flora had the damage to catch him, and now, what can you do? The Spitfire are lacking their heart, their soul, their tank. And with two seconds left in the map, there's not a chance 
The body's there on the low ground being contested by Backbone, but he doesn't want to push it forward. They need to buy time for Hardy to return. So slowly but steadily, Backbone will nudge it here and there. Hardy is back in the fight. The London Spitfire are ready to go again with fire, but Alpha Yi is entrenched already between Hardy and the rest of his team. Still has a blade in hand. Still no sound barrier for Admiral. Alpha Yi to the bus here. It's going to be a symmetrical wall thrown up, and now the Spitfire have a staging ground behind this air matrix, but they're flanking. They're going around. The Justice look to take a fight now, and here comes the blade. Admiral's in trouble. He falls. Alpha Yi's found the second, and this will be it surely. Just the Bastion left, and the Justice stay alive. This one is going all the way. Oh, that is two maps in a row in favor of the Justice, and I gotta say, I love the way they play that at the end. Even after they get Hottie in that fight, they don't just kind of, you know, get, get overzealous, right? Just push on forward, go right into, you know, maybe they'll, like, we can get a team wide, push them back a little bit. No, like, just be confident in that corner that you're playing around, right? You don't want to kind of push recklessly into the high ground when the Bastion is on the other side of it and just play the play the percentages right you're around the corner they have to run into you you have a blade which is always work for you and you know if you're not putting down like any big significant damage at that point like there's no chance that they're building up towards the beat you can't ask for much more than a season elimination game alpha he comes alive again on the genji london looked close they played so carefully but the justice did not give into the pressure I loved how Miro played so conservatively around the bus for those last couple of fights, but when they saw an opportunity, Matt, they go for it. They speed in through the symbol to win the fight with the Dragon Blade. It's beautiful. And now the Justice give themselves a shot at being the ones to eliminate the Spitfire in a reverse sweep, no less. Yeah, I mean, I, I really think they're just playing really smart Overwatch, the Justice, in terms of the way they're kind of taking these fights and engaging. And I love this flank here, like you mentioned, coming right around the opposite side. Don't think they expected that at all. And what? That's how Mir getting uh, landing right off the rip and then Admiral falling right after that. So it'll be Gibraltar the next map. That's a brutal map, usually for London style, but we've seen them make it work before with the Symmetra. Stick around. It's either the Spitfire or the Justice to advance, and one is done for the year.
It's been a long season. 16 grueling regular season matches and then a play-ins will not soon forget. Culminates here for these two teams in a best of five elimination, not match, but map. We're going all the way, everybody, as the Washington Justice have begun their attempt at the greatest reverse sweep in their franchise's history. It all will end in this last map. And it feels like they have all the momentum, right? Going into this fifth and final map is, I know they really come alive on Flashpoint, start to figure it out. They are on push. You saw that they are just you know, taking fights in such a smart fashion. Uh, can they carry it over here to Gibraltar, which, you know, uh, obviously it's escort is game five you know uh, trying to think of some other maps like i mean maybe this is one that london feels they're the strongest on there are a few options uh you know we've seen a fair bit of dorado for map five from many of our teams so far this is an interesting one the i mean the most memorable gibraltar outing we had this season was actually this london spitfire team against the san francisco shock both teams back then were already experimenting with bastion and with Symmetra. And it was the map that historically had been very dive-oriented. Great for Winston comps. But the London Spitfire, as always, had bucked the trend and was still forcing their signature Reinhardt style on that map. A very fun game between those two teams. But it's not about fun anymore. That was maybe eight games ago. Start of the regular season. Now it's about the result. Now it's about the W. Will that work for the London Spitfire this time around? As the Justice with Alfie at the four have been very very hard to deal with over these last two maps. Oh, I mean, this would be a brutal way to go out if you're London, right? You know, you, you think you're kind of uh, in this position where you're up 2-0, you're cruising, uh, Alfie is not like, you know, having the hugest impact on that uh, Genji, and then all of a sudden, you know, things just on Suravasa just flip on its head, and uh, now you find yourself on the, the verge of getting reverse sweeped in done for the year at the same time. I mean, that is a uh, stare down the barrel of something brutal. The kind of thing that you won't have a chance to salve. The kind of loss that you won't have a chance to avenge, redeem yourself from. No, you sit on that and the knowledge that you came up short for months. The London Spitfire will be starting on the attacking side and we see no changes to this justice composition that will still have that bastion. The Genji for Alpha Yi. You can't leave the spawn room without it at this point. Uh, and maybe the thing you think for the London Spitfire is that like it may be a little bit harder for Mirror to kind of play in this position, right? Like doesn't have, uh, I know the Sim to kind of move him around and also doesn't have that barrier, right? Uh, you know, obviously if Arisa is a very sturdy, strong tank hero, but doesn't have that shield in this large, like open landscape here on Gibraltar. As we saw on Esperanza, maybe they just don't want to move the Arisa around that much at all. Use it as, uh, you know, a pivot. And never get too aggressive. Great patience from the Justice. Until they were ready to attack those fights with Lucio speed. Here comes Hardy. Front and center getting this car moving into the underpass already. And look at that shield disintegrating under the scrutiny of Flora. Oh, I mean, that shield is up. Uh, he puts it up for a second and it's gone as... Uh... Spirit gets pushed back just a little bit. We'll see if they have anything kind of like, maybe they want to TP up to the high ground here. It's tough because if they TP into this Bastion, right? Uh, I mean, there's still just a ton of damage ah. on the opposite side of it, so. You're familiar with these lately, Matt. Fake teleport from the London Spitfire. They don't opt to go up to the high ground. Instead, they throw it out. They do evoke a response from the Justice. They back up a little bit here. Another TP thrown down. Hardy, though. Ops to hang on the car for the time being. Now they've switched places with the Justice, but neither team has the high ground necessarily. <laughs> Dude, they force these weird fights, London, where like now they're on offense, but on the defender side of the map, right? Is uh, Mir getting quite low? That's going to be an Ant Matrix, maybe trying to finish him off. Ant Matrix from both sides, though, you've got to be careful. Terra goes very low there, but the card's still moving away from the Justice. Washington have to come up with a response. They like to be the team to set the pace, but that. Privilege has been taken from them now. Mira's very low, so low in fact that he barely be able to hold on. Now as Sparker finds wheels mode and Mira is gold. And now he's embalmed. Sparker there sees the help with a sim toe. Just kind of holds out for you in place for long enough for him to get the extra damage. And that from London was absolutely superb, man. The repositioning with Symmetra, that's something that Justice do not have access to. 
in when they force these situations like uh we were talking about at the beginning of the push uh game where they tp past you they're now on like offense but on the defender side of things like once that bot starts running away from you uh you know you have to be on the offense uh so it, it forces these really odd situations that time it's actually london pushing up trying to take some ship control and they fall now the justice have a bit more agency a chance to control the pace or at least just slow it down a bit winning that fight there they had to use a sound barrier to do so because up on that high ground they looked in a very compromising position but they found a way through with that defensive ultimate from dong hun now they'll be facing down one from the spitfire now they split themselves a fair bit here straight to the high ground goes alfie didn't fancy hanging around as backbow was charging up more and more Shadow. Here it is, they're gonna knock Floor to the ground, no more tank mode, there was a Terra Surge, but Hardy charges out of it. He found Dong Hoon, but needs to respect the Bastion. Admiral is down to Alpha Geese Blade, so there's no way to get Hardy out of trouble there. Still three players to work together now for the Spitfire, and they use the TP to try and outfox the Justice, who need to head for the hills. Yes, it's just Terra alive as uh, Spark here puts down enough damage to finish out Flora as Amir just spears right back into the action, gets a connection there as London just backs up a little bit. You have artillery and you have your wall here to use. Is that they're actually you know, potentially going to set a pretty good time if they keep on this pace. Okay, the wall is going to allow the Spitfire to play underneath this awning. Now, Lavastian ultimate here from Sparker. He has the space and time to do it. Uh, Alfie, he does get the kill, but he has to trade himself out for that one. Don't what happened to Flory there. Maybe a grenade. It's unclear, but either way, the justice here. What looked like the real opportunity to slow things down again. They've only really won one fight this whole round. Yeah, I mean, this has not looked good. Uh, <laughs> Backbone is... Uh, I love it. Look, talk, talk trash. Go for it. Like, uh, I, I, I don't think I could tell people not to talk trash. Uh, I, I, I don't think that would, that would you, be right. You may so, not. No, people might not take you seriously there, Matt. No, so... Guess who gets caught I'm first? For it. It's the Baptiste without yeah. a Reinhardt shield. And look, like, like a comment like that from Backbone, right? You know that Justice is like feeling it and they're scared a little bit, right? And then like reading it, you, like, you just kind of mentally acknowledge it, right? Yeah, as soon as you breathe uh, it into existence. That's yeah. some pretty sick mind games, I'm not gonna lie. Not quite Atlanta rain level BM, but it has a similar effect. We're hey, talking master event. era BM, you know, not, not, yeah. not current era. They've softened on us. Shatter here for Hardy now. Oh, into the back line. He was thinking about it. I think he got hit with an oh, energy javelin. That, just that, to see a look, that was a shatter. Yeah. That was a shatter. He doesn't have a shatter anymore. That's, he lost it. That is a How so does fast from Mir. He whipped 180 and hit him with a javelin midway through Shatter. That's yeah. just ridiculous. What a save, but is it enough? No, Mira can't get back to safety now. The Symmetra Wall is going to allow the Spitfire to snowball this advantage. Had to be a sound berry here for Dong Hoon, but will that do the job? Alpha Yi's low, gets a teleporter, and that's it. Backbone is too charged up, and Alpha Yi in midair is fried. Here come London now with just under three minutes to spare. Mira lucky not to get knocked off the map here, but in no better condition than if he had. Terra Surge, forget about him. It's in, in, interrupted. And the Spitfire have 244 to play. That is terrifying. That's one way to bounce back. <laughs> oh, shucks, sure. says Sparker. <laughs> you see, they're just laughing, having a, a grand all time. Uh, I, I think, you know, what I talked about a little bit in the pregame, right? Of like, why selecting this? Maybe you can kind of like take advantage, maybe of like Mirror on the Orisa. Think about when we're on with Hadi and how fast his shield is done, right? Uh, now think about not having a shield. And that just being your your physical being. Uh, that is kind of where Mir is just taking so much damage. Zvarkar apologizes for his toxicity, uh, which is also like in a reverse way BM to apologize for being BM is a way to a way to do that. Uh, but I, I think this has been really difficult on Mir, right? These like long sight lines, right? Not having that shield, not having a ton of mobility. Uh, only so much you can do with like fortify in the spear spin. I also think, isn't it harder to block those bastion grenades there as well? You really have to get good use out of your, uh, your spear spin. Okay, here's Alpine going in. Look at Backbone. Check this out. Little, little step back, little cheeky TP. Alpha, you desperately trying to stick to this sim, but my god. Honestly, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
with with how fast obviously it's slowed down there with how fast it's actually going on i mean that is extremely impressive is a hottie wants to play like, uh, closest door uh okay he's gonna yeah i mean they're gonna play him down there and probably as a tp to safety i don't mind this at all playing, uh, they're playing backbone in that room with them you see the turrets they have yeah. set up they i think he's to guarantee they can get him out so this way he can have his shield up and back into the tp as opposed to have a tp across the map and potentially get blown up before he can get out but yeah see, you do I, need to be able to get they're out trying to bait them in to go into that room with the sim you know turrets and then have bastion grenade and damage coming from the opposite side they're all on the high they're all upstairs though hardy can't go up the stairs here so yeah it's not a great spot i think uh, in the meantime, though, Sparker, Sparker is just... Sparker kills two. Okay. Duncan and Flora both get caught out there because Mira is on this magical journey inside this room. They open the closet to Narnia and off you go. Ten years pass by the time you return. Everyone you knew has grown old. You're young, though, so you don't care. You might be losing the game, but it's fine. You're He's so focused on killing the, uh, the Reinhardt, right? That you just turn your back to the Bastion and the Baptiste. I mean, Landon already has an Ammatrix. And Terra getting close as well, but... Man, talk about a silver bullet. This map for the London Spitfire looks like they've really worked on it. Some very strange setups here, but have really worked out for London. Mira can barely get out of spawn before he's cut down. Donghun trying to make something happen to that high ground to link up with Alphie, but the latter is being terrorized by Admiral. Yeah, I mean, this is just a really difficult situation for Mira to be in, right? It's just lots of damage coming in, not a ton of ways to mitigate it, and there's not a lot of areas to hide. Exactly. What is the like, plan here? All right. Okay, Ant Matrix. Swap sides. Gobble up Spark, and nicely done up by Teru. You saw he was initially looking to put that Ant Matrix. He actually turned 180 to respond to the fact yeah. that the Spitfire had appeared behind them. Great adaptation. It wins the fight for them. So they get the cart moving. Uh, you know, uh, some time burned here off the start, which if you're London, you're just looking to burn some clock, burn some clock, like you know, two minutes 44. And, you know, considering that advantage, you know, at the end, uh, you, you feel like, you know, you, you, you can give up point A and point B and still feel confident you're gonna fit, you know, win the map. Hardy turning his shield here. Those are windows where you can pick people off like Backbone. Hardy's just trying to stop the blast coming out. Mira, though, little bits unattended by the rest of his team. A lot of free damage for Backbone. Luckily for the Justice, Backbone can't accrue all percentage while he has a wall up. Otherwise, he would have had a good 20% there, I'd say. Close to Shatter is Hardy, and he's playing oh, like it. Flora! They the... Yeah, they didn't oh. have Immortality Field. That Immortality Field's used to kind of keep Mira alive when he gets back to the rest of the team, and they end up using that artillery right inside the small room. Nowhere Flora can go. You got one minute left. One minute. Might be your last minute of the season. Mira here, soak up a little bit of poke, but you need to have a plan now. Alpha, you needs to be topped up. Teru looking to do that. Maybe work on Hardy's shield. Give yourselves a staging ground. That'll do it. Nicely done. Looks like Mira can pick the opening where there's no shield to throw an energy javelin and put Hardy on the low ground here. Uh, this could be this fight though, mate. This fight may be it for the justice though. I mean, yeah. how slow this is developing for both teams. I mean, th this fight may be the one for the Justice and... They've lost Terra again! Uh... They've lost him to a grenade! We've talked about it so much over this series, getting caught at the start of the fight. You don't have a shield to hide behind and the amped grenade is a death sentence! Alfie again gets worked by Backbone in the neutral. Nothing he can do about the Symmetra, just too slick for those cybernetic hands to grasp. And now Flora having to switch to the Sojourn slides away. And this is it. The seconds elapse and expire, as does the Washington Justice's season. The London Spitfire will advance in our play in brackets. I mean, it is not clean, though. Like, there seems to be, I know maybe it's not a blueprint, right? But there is definitely a recipe out there that can take out you know, this Reinhardt based setup that the London Spitfire are operating right now as uh, this one goes down to the wire. For me, it just feels like the Spitfire were more prepared as we saw the map set expand and we got to this fifth map. We very quickly realized there's a damn good reason that London chose Watchpoint Gibraltar. 
Not something that a lot of teams are preferring right now, but you can see they had, they had a plan on defense. They had a plan. They set Hardy and the Symmetra in that off angle, the side room, two yeah. up, like two minutes of time. And from that point, after having a time bank of like two minutes 45, they could really do whatever they wanted there. Stunning stuff. And finally, Backbone finding his feet against his constant Genji pressure from Alpha Yi. Couple slick plays there to turn the tides. Yeah, I mean, look, the, the the last map pick was excellent there by London. They definitely have a recipe there. And, uh, you know, we saw a little bit on the player shots, like how you know uh, upset those Justice players are. I, are. I feel like it's almost worse, you know, for them that it was this, like they, they battled back and then it ended like this, right? Rather than just kind of uh, getting blown going out. out with a whimper. You might be yeah. right there. So close and yet not close enough. They look so strong. In maps three and four, but in map five, that's where, well, the Reaper came calling and it was their door he was knocking at. Let's talk player of the match here. It is going to be Sparker for his showing over the course of this series. At one point, I think we discussed he had about 40% of his team's damage. It was Bastion from start to finish here, but he made it look really, really good. A lot of teams doing this. Sparker, one of the forerunners of this hero, of this pick. Yeah, and we, you mentioned it there towards the end, like, it seems time and time again able to find you know, huge value with those grenades being able to like start off a fight with like big damage in an aoe or be able to find a player with a pick so uh, i know when commanding this bastion sparker is uh definitely carrying his weight absolutely and i've got to say it there are not many teams willing to play the reinhardt right now for obvious re reasons but the value proposition is I mean, it's really clear to me, Spark having an extra couple of moments, even in the event of an Ant Matrix coming down to respond, to use that Sim TP to get out of trouble. Two deaths on Gibraltar, two deaths and still that 40% off team Pretty damage good. with 13 final blows. This is game winning right here, right now. And on Gibraltar, it's a blowout in favor of your London Spitfire. Yeah, I mean, look, you're able to move him around the map, keep him and Hardy alive, keep them in interesting places, making it difficult. Uh, for the other team that can track them down. And when you're putting up 40% of the team's damage only two deaths, I mean, uh, you're, you're going to find some success. This lower half, this lower bracket here in our play-ins is heating up and the Spitfire stay alive one more time. To fond farewell, of course, to the Washington Justice. But before that, we've got plenty to break down in this match. So let's take a quick break. Let's head over to the desk to break down this absolute banger. One, so one. Oh, no, really? Yeah, one, 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 <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back, everyone. What did they just say? He said, I'm choking. Oh, I'm choking. <laughs> I'm we're gonna throw. They knew they won. They knew, they won. Gonna lose. They knew it was over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm choking. I'm choking. I was backstage when I saw Flora go Sojourn. I was like, mm, right off. It's over. Minute on the clock, it's over. It's, it is over. Man, but this one went the distance. Oh, yeah. What a close match. I don't think any of us would have expected this one to actually go the distance, having a map five for this one. And well thought uh, for a hot minute there. It did look like London Spitfire don't have this in the back. Washington Justice really, really took a few pages out of Boston yeah. Uprising's book, it seems. That was so much fun. That <laughs> was so much fun. Oh, wow. We were almost in reverse. We had the map fives. Like, yeah. whoa, unpredictability. Yeah, it's really, I mean, Washington Justice, like, they really leveled up on Flashpoint, and push was as close as it could get. So going to map five, and then, you, you know, I mean, the wheels really fell off Washington Justice. I, I really think that Gibraltar pick was actually really smart, despite London being a Rhine team. They've experienced uh, playing the Rhine comp on Gibraltar. This was brutal. They know how to make the most of the Sim TVs. Yeah, this was vintage hottie play. <laughs> this <laughs> very special play. Uh, two pins off the map in one fight is absurd, actually. Yeah. Out of control. But uh, Alpha Yi made them work for it. He was so crucial. We talked about him in the pre-show, but he did more than I think anyone could have expected. An incredible season from Alpha Yi, one of our biggest breakout stars this year. I mean, it, you know, Alpha Yi was crazy and definitely watching Justice. Tried their best, but it wasn't enough for the uh, London Spitfire towards the end. I gotta say, uh, watching London Spitfire, we all say they're a fun team, but at this point now, I honestly feel like they've like mastered this Sim TP Ryan Rush comp mm. to a level where I don't think any other team could sort of copy or like, you know, fight fight off against and it's like they use a TP to what like to teleport uh, their teammates that are like sort of in danger or to like change their position as well it's just sort of I think it's very innovative 
and it's very deadly uh, as well at the same time. Do, can I say, say something about the Washington Justice here? Please. They, they, you know, admittedly been pretty average so far this year. You know, they haven't really been able to compete with the Houston Outlaws and, you know, the top four teams. But they've been exciting to watch this year. I mean, Al Fayy coming over to the Western regions after Hangzhou Spark last year, he is electric. So much fun to watch. Flora complimenting him in the hitscan role. And I know we've had our you know, frustration sometimes with the Washington Justice, you know, when they had to put Ben Best on the back line, for example, because of ping issues, stuff like that. But in general, it's been a treat to watch, uh, watch the Washington Justice this year, uh, and they go out, map five, almost beating the London Spitfire. It couldn't have been any closer. So, you know, I just wanted to say thank you to the Washington Justice too. Yeah, no, I, I echo that sentiment. It, it was great to see them play and playing it so close at the very end. You have to be proud of that performance. After all, they are in the play-ins, right? Not all teams made the play-in, so like that's already an achievement in itself you can be proud of. And you saw there at the end in the player camps as well, Mirror went out with smiles uh, because it was so close. They were this close to actually making it. However, it shall not be. London Spitfire are the ones advancing in our bracket. So it is now time for a winner's interview. And we got London Spitfire's Landon joining us. Landon Spitfire. Congratulations on that big W. Thank you, thank you. That was a really uh, interesting series. <laughs> sure was. In, in, interesting, interesting how. Obviously, I went to map five, but in, in your mind, why was it so interesting? Um, well, Alfie is always fun to play versus. He's like, he takes a lot of like focus to like make sure you know where he is. Because if you don't know where he is, he's just going to one shot you. But as the series went on, you know, like, I don't know, every map, every map was fun, even though, even though we're like, we're still playing the same comps, every map was like a different challenge, like a different, well, situation for Final Fight. It was just a blast to play. Yeah, I, I wanted to ask you about, you know, playing Reinhardt comps now for quite a while now, because, you know, cat's out of the bag. A lot of Spitfire, they play Reinhardt, we know that by now. Shocking news. Uh, <laughs> shocking news. <laughs> and so you have Boston Uprising beat you last week, uh, map five now against the Washington Justice. Can you feel the other teams, your opponents, improving and adapting to your play? Are these matches getting harder and harder to pull off the Reinhardt compositions? Um, kind of. I think people knew we had committed to the Ryan like a little bit ago, but every like every week, even if they have strategies to beat us, like we get better at our Ryan comp every week too. But, like we have different rotations, different plays, different like ways ways to like get a fighter too. So it's. I'm not too worried about it. I wanted to ask you specifically, as you guys, you know, develop this comp and adapt it from in the start where you guys were playing like tons of May. Now it's mostly the Sim Bastion. We saw the Bastion Soldier come out on Flashpoint, which is something I've never seen before, at least from you guys in that in that comp. And so I want to ask you about those DPS adaptations. How do you guys think about the meta right now in terms of like a lot of teams are some teams are locking in the queen, some teams are playing other comps. Like, how do you guys think about those DPS rotations? When to swap? Is it just the comfort of Sparker and Backbone to make those calls, or is it a team strategy? Both of our DPS players are really self-aware and they're smart players. So if, like, some, if, if a pick isn't working or if they think something could be more optimal, they'll just suggest it and we normally trust them. All right, Landon, for me, I think this whole series was very interesting, but I think the map five for London picking Gibraltar was the most exciting and very interesting thing for me. What was the thought pro process behind that? Because you, you guys are a Ryan, a Ryan team choosing Gibraltar against Washington Justice. It was kind of interesting. I want to hear your thoughts about that. Well, our team doesn't have the best history of map five loser brackets. <laughs> and we genuinely think Gibraltar is the best Ryan map in the game. So what better way to wrap it up with, you know? <laughs> but pull it up in ranked. <laughs> Reinhardt Gibraltar in ranked. Let's go. Do not play this in my ranked game. <laughs> You will lose. Yeah. PSA here from Unless Jake. you're on the other team. Please play this in my game. You will mess this up and feed. If you have London's coordination, I'm sure it's... Honestly. Uh, yeah. I, I totally yes. believe it. If you yeah, are the London yeah. Spitfire, please play this in yeah. my game. The way you make it work is fabulous, yeah. Well, looking ahead here, Landon, uh, your next match uh, to make it to the playoffs is going to be against the Vancouver Titans. What are you feeling about this one? Are you guys confident against the Vancouver Titans? Have you been able to watch their recent games and take some notes? They're definitely not a bad team, but I think when we play our system properly and we're all warmed up for the day, I think we can beat almost anyone in this play bracket, if not everyone. 
Right on. Well, you get to show that tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us for a quick chat. Best of luck in your ma the next match. And thank you once again for joining us. Thank you. I actually, I like the thought process behind Gibraltar. I think it, it, it puts this unique constraint on the Arisa comp where typically, right, look on push, Esperanza, it's always the Arisa and the Genji trading time on cart. Like the Arisa comes, pops her cooldowns to hold the car, then the Genji can take the car for a little while. And it feels like you can hold that off indefinitely with Washington's comp. But on, on a map like Gibraltar, you can't cycle your tank on the car and get out of the fight. And, and I think that actually is a really wise call, even though it's not a traditional pick. Yeah, I mean, you can if you're the London Spitfire. You probably cannot if you're in our ranked game. So, yeah, uh, like, let's well, I mean, yeah, the Arisa team can't, there. right? The Ryan's never leaving the car. He doesn't care. <laughs> he's, he's there for life. <laughs> I think, the, I think the I'm 2016 Reinhardts are justified. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> <laughs> All the, the 2016 <laughs> Gibraltar Rhine, it's back. It's back. I, I don't know if you should have said that publicly. Either way, uh, we're all smiles and giggles here. It was an entertaining series. And a lot of that was just because a lot of those fights were so close. It was such a kill trade. And there is a very specific example, which is, of course, the last fight on push. Uh, you want to break that one down for us, Johnny? Yeah, it looked for a moment like Lono Spitfire was on the edge of getting reverse swept. So I just wanted to highlight how this map ended. Now, it had a pretty disastrous start. So, I mean, we're hard here with about 30 seconds on the timer. So we can just go ahead and play this one out and see, you know, how long it's for getting into the groove. It's like, okay, we're on this corner. You know, we're poking a little bit. And, oh, Washington Justice, they're dropping the application matrix, getting out. Oh, Adi, oh, oh no, I missed that. Oh, he fed. He fed. It's not what you want to see. But this is great for Nolono Spitfire. I mean, you can see how the push bot is pushed up. And Washington Justice, they don't want to push out here. I mean, Nolono Spitfire have the high ground. They have an amplification matrix themselves. So backbone down here, just stalling. And Hardy is back for the overtime fight. This is amazing stuff right here. So now we're actually getting in to the very last fight because Nolono Spitfire had time to wait for Hardy to get back into this fight. So this is great stuff. Now for the ultimate backbone, I mean, you have the symmetry wall, you have your own amplification matrix. And so you really just want to, you know, come around this corner and activate those ultimates. And then you have actually like a lane for both of those ultimates and to cut off the battlefield. And suddenly it's like really good for the little Spitfire here. Now, Washington Justice, they obviously don't want to peek out from this doorway right here because they can't give Lono Spitfire the high ground advantage. There's no way to get to Adamo, no way to get to land on. So they're, they're similarly, they're like waiting for Lono Spitfire, just like, yeah, please come in, please come in. So we can utilize this Alpha E Dragon Blade to your advantage, stack up the supports, stack up the Lono Spitfire, and we can get more value. Now, we, as we go ahead and play this one out, Lono Spitfire, they're going to push through around this corner, Symmetra Wall is dropped, and this forces Washington Justice back. But this call to round the corner, to flank right here, I don't know who makes this call, but it's an amazing call. Now, crucially, the Lono Spitfire, they are not at all ready for this, and this is where it all breaks down. So, the teleporter comes out from Backbone right here, and this is where the communication breaks down from Lono Spitfire, because Landon is not at all ready for this teleporter to be dropped, actually. And you can see just how far away Landon is at the bottom, bottom right corner, uh, right here. And so Landon's not gonna be able to take this Symmetra teleporter, and this just, the entire fight breaks down because Lono Spitfire are not on the same page on a Symmetra teleporter comp. This is like the first time we've ever seen them not be on the same page. So we can play this one out, the, wall, uh, the flank comes in from Washington Justice, Landon gets picked first, Immortality Field doesn't even come out, and Alfie pulls the blade. And at this point, I mean, you have no immortality field. There's no way for Lono Spitfire to really sustain this fight. You've lost your primary healer in this one. So a great flank from the Washington Justice to win this one. And I'm gonna be honest, I thought the Washington Justice were gonna reverse with the Lono Spitfire right here. So an amazing fight from, uh, from the Washington Justice. In the end, Lono Spitfire, they win the series. They advance in the lower bracket. But really great execution and good team fights from the Washington Justice. Yeah, it was a great series. A lot of that, of course, coming down to fights just like that. So much talent on both of those sides. Uh, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, though, we do have to say goodbye to the Washington Justice now. Their 2022 season, uh, 2023 is actually the year. Yeah, so that their season, unfortunately, coming to an end here. Uh, we are heading into our uh, winner's bracket match in just a little bit. But first things first, we do want to see them off in style. Washington Justice, they've hung in there as best as they could. They delivered a five-map nail-biter. But fun. unfortunately, this is going to be the it. Washington but Justice. they tried.
Oh. They held Lord, on tight. have they tried. They did. Oh. They definitely they did. For they well. fall. They and now to join the party. Excelsior, Valiant, and Eternal. Time to say goodbye. We'll be back after a quick break. Break down the action for our last match.